Hey, John from backofthedragon.com here with you again from Hungry Mother State Park, a couple minutes outside of Marion, Virginia, about two and a half miles into uh, Route 16, the back of the dragon. Uh, today, something special from Kawasaki, not what you may think for the back of the dragon, something kind of in between. You're going to dig it. More in a second. And we're here with our good friend, Darren Coe, General Manager from Swamp Fox Motorsports in Bluefield, uh, Virginia. Darren, thanks so much for joining us again. Oh, thanks for having us. What a beautiful day to ride the dragons. Unbelievable, isn't it? Absolutely unbelievable. Not a cloud in the sky today. Um, the folks who've seen the previous videos know you well, and, and Swamp Fox is a huge supporter at the back of the dragon. You guys are a, a major dealer here in our area, um, the full-service dealer, uh, gear, service sales tons of stuff in the showroom yeah we try to you know we try to pride ourselves on customer satisfaction and it's one thing kawasaki's big on they want us to be the number one uh dealer in not necessarily dealer but number one brand in customer satisfaction bar none so. right right well last time you came up you bought something unique maybe something you know uh, outside the norm from what you would think and this time you've done it again um, with this Vulcan 900. Uh, this may not be a, a traditional bike of what you think for something like the back of the drag in this 32 miles aggressive road, uh, you know, scenic road, uh, but it really is, right? I mean, this this really is a bike that you can enjoy on oh, this road. Oh, absolutely. The 900 Custom, it's, it's a great all-around bike. I mean, it's maximum torque at around 3,500 RPMs, rubber mounted engine, so there's no vibration. It just it handles great. It's lightweight, around 611 pounds. And it's just a joy to ride these beautiful mountain roads on this motorcycle. Now this falls within the custom sport bike category, but but really on the sport side, right? This yeah, it's is a definitely, custom it's street, definitely got the know. custom custom look, the skinny front tire, the you know the mag wheel instead of the spokes, straight handlebars. Uh, it you know it really seems to just attract the the younger kind of more aggressive kind of rider that not maybe not want a sport bike that's not ready for a full dress cruiser either. Well, you know, it's so funny, uh, a lot of the uh, cars and motorcycles that, that we kind of focus on and feature, um, they're really dual purpose. It's great to have something that, you know, like a track bike or a track car or something, but how often do you get to go to the track? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, so uh, to have something that you could ride to work, uh, enjoy, uh, ride out with your friends on, on a you know nice lazy afternoon to get out or to take on something like the back of the dragon kind of at the flip of a switch is really something impressive. Yeah, it's a lot of motorcycle. It meets a lot of different categories, you know, and at a price point just at around $8,000, you know, it's really affordable for a lot of different people. And, uh, you know, it's it's a lot of motorcycle for the money and, it, and it, it, it's sure to impress. A very durable piece too. Very durable piece. Yeah. It's been in Kawasaki's lineup for a number of years and it just keeps on selling every year and 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 everybody's really excited and happy for it if so. it's not broke don't fix it exactly yeah exactly. absolutely tell us a little bit more about the uh, swamp fox what you guys have going on and specifically what kawasaki has going on in support of bikes like the like the box well right now kawasaki's really aggressive in their financing they're probably as good as any oem manufacturer right now uh, they offer customer cash deals up to about 750 bucks on this particular bike right now and uh, they're just really trying to not only get bikes that customers can afford in today's economy, but they, they, they don't want to skimp on quality or service either. And they're really starting to have their dealers stand up to a higher, a higher standard. So. Well, that's good because you guys have been there for a long time. Absolutely. We've been there for a long time and we plan on being there a lot longer. So we want to keep on supporting the back of the dragon, keep supporting Kawasaki and Swamp Fox. And I'm sure as fall moves into winter and close to Christmas time and the end of the model years and the end of the calendar year, you guys are going to be uh, happy to help customers get these Lots bikes up Lots of good the deals. Uh, Santa Claus list is for everybody. We're ready to have you. Come on down, see us. Come out and enjoy the back of the dragon. It's a beautiful time of year here. The leaves are in full bloom. The roads are in great shape. Come on out and ride with us. Yeah, uh, and it, as you noticed uh, on your way back, uh, on your way over from the Tazewell side, you know this this stretch over here on the on the uh, first mountain, the Marion side, unbelievable paved road. Just oh, smooth pavement. You know, I can't imagine that you're going to find any prettier scenery in the state, or very few places in the country this time of year. Now, what we've done in the video series is we like to get people who have either not been on the back of the dragon or who have been, but perhaps not in the vehicle that we are talking about at that time. Now, you have been on the back of the Dragon, you really are a Dragon Master, and uh, you have actually ridden this bike before 
but uh, we want to get your take and, and you're, you're so great on camera and relaying uh, you know, the piece of equipment and how it interacts with the road. Uh, we definitely can't wait to get out there and get some shots of you uh, in this beautiful red Vulcan 900. Oh, sounds good, let's go ride. Let's do it. We'll get some safety gear on and uh, we'll hit the uh, back of the Dragon. We'll see you in a minute. Darren, that was awesome. That looked really good. I mean, I know you're an accomplished rider, um, but you know you have to live within the the realities of the performance of the bike. And it looked like you, you know, you were braking later than I thought you were going to have to brake, and all these things. This really is a performance motorcycle. Oh, absolutely. This bike handles so well. It's got great power for coming out of the curves. Handles the uphills great. The braking superb. What a joy to ride this bike on this road. Yeah, it's fantastic. And, and the red looked great on the road. You know, red's one of those colors. You know, maybe sometimes it looks great on camera, and maybe sometimes it, it kind of overpowers. But in this in this environment, it, at this season, it yeah, just it just pops. Red's money on this bike. It really red, is. Red, it's red sales. It red sales, and it sells on this bike. You know, we had another red thing uh, with a little crest on it here out, out there earlier, and and it did the exact same thing. And when I saw this bike, and I saw what you were bringing, it it had the same effect on me. I knew what was going to happen out there, and sure enough, it was awesome. Uh, obviously, as I said, you're a very accomplished rider, and you've ridden the back of the dragon numerous times. So, um, thank you so much for coming out. Thanks again uh, for all the support from Swamp Fox. You guys have been a tremendous partner of ours, and we look forward to a long. Time. Thanks for having us. Oh, awesome. That's going to do it uh, for this episode. Uh, please make sure you go and log on and, and check out these awesome guys and their great products, Swamp Fox Motorsports. And uh, check us out, backofthedragon.com. We'll have more reviews, uh, cool upcoming event notices, and, of course, obviously the Back of the Dragon swag. We'll see you again soon. Until then, safe riding.